Shall I? Yes, sir. Shall I? Yes, yes sir. Sounds good. So, guys, we are going to discuss the circulation of the brain. The brain is supplied by mainly the saccula filis, which is uh, here at the base, uh, at the base of, at the center of the base of the brain, as you can see here. You are gonna see a circle, and uh, this saccula filis is mainly formed by the two uh, circulatory system, the anteriorly the carotid system and posteriorly the vertebral system. So, uh, if we start with the anterior uh, cerebral system. The internal carotid artery further continues here up in the brain uh, that is severed here as, as you can see here this side and this side so these are called the middle cerebral arteries and uh, if we see the middle cerebral arteries branches we can see that we need to just you know uh, pull down the optic chiasma so that we can have a very better view here you can see one branch coming towards the anterior aspect this is going to supply the anterior lobe see this branch and this branch Available to see. These these branches are called as anterior cerebral cerebral arteries. See, from the middle cerebral artery, we are going to get the first two branches on either side. These are called anterior cerebral cerebral arteries, and these two anterior cerebral arteries are you know anastomosed by a middle branch here. This is called the anterior communicating artery. You are seeing now the anterior communicating artery that connects the uh, right and left the anterior cerebral okay. artery. cerebral arteries i'm sorry so if there is any damage in the uh, left anterior cerebral artery because of this anastomosis the right cerebral artery will supply and vice versa if there is any injury in the right cerebral artery in supplying the blood to the right cerebral hemisphere uh, through this uh, anterior communicating artery the left cerebral artery will supply to the uh, right one so this is about the main two branches anterior cerebral arteries coming from the middle cerebral artery so before we talk about this one we will talk what are these arteries we will talk about we will talk it later we will come back to the vertebral system so basically at the level of atlas uh, as it ascends upwards to on either side the vertebral arteries unite to form one uh, one single artery this single artery is called as basilar artery as you can see basilar artery is present on the pons this part of the brain stem is called the larger part is called as brain uh, pons and uh, this basilar artery rests on the sulcus of this pons anterior aspect of the pons so this sulcus is called as basilar sulcus upon which the basilar artery is resting i repeat it again the basilar artery is formed at the formed by the union of right and left vertebral, vertebral arteries just on the top of the atlas now as you see the it, the basilar artery runs upwards all the way Uh, up to the upper pontin sulcus where it divides into mainly two branches well these are called as posterior cerebral arteries right so please never get confused that the middle cerebral artery just like how it gives anterior cerebral artery it gives posterior side it is not like that these are not the posterior cerebral arteries posterior cerebral arteries will uh, spring from the basilar artery as you can see this one and this one and these posterior cerebral arteries are in turn communicated by the branches coming from the middle cerebral artery these are the posterior communicating artery i repeat it again just like how the anterior communicating artery is connecting the anterior and uh, anterior right and left uh, cerebral arteries in the same way the posterior cerebral arteries are connected by the middle cerebral artery through these communicating artery and these are called as posterior cerebral art, uh, posterior communicating artery now Uh, if we talk something about the branches of the basilar artery mainly the branches of the basilar artery supply first the pons substance and the cerebellum uh, pons is supplied by these tiny branches as you can see it may not be easy to uh, visualize but uh, try to see here guys that these are tiny uh, pontin branches coming from the main uh, trunk of the basilar artery and now on the upper aspect and on the lower aspect you can see uh some pair of paired arteries coming from the basilar artery these are going towards as you can see they are they are very long and they are going towards the cerebellum so these are called as antero superior cerebellar artery and antero inferior cerebellar artery and then again you can see again a longer one down at the lower point in sulcus this is lower point in sulcus and you are going to see another uh, another long branch coming from the basilar artery this is posterior inferior cerebellar artery right so now where is the sulcus here sulcus is formed in this way these are the middle cerebral arteries they are sending anterior cerebral arteries like this just follow the probe here these are anterior cerebral arteries 
and uh, right and left anterior cerebral arteries are uh, commun- uh, uh, the shunt is completed by the anterior communicating artery and from the middle cerebral artery again we are going to get posterior communicating artery and this posterior communicating communicating artery will connect with the posterior cerebral arteries which are coming from what is this basilar artery. artery right so this is how guys the circle is formed at the base of the brain that supplies the entire what is it the cerebrum uh, the brain stem and the cerebellum so this is about the circle